Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 6 January 2019. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we will analyze the two commodities, oil and gold, using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to trade in the direction of the market. We will study market direction using NASDAQ and NYSE, market breadth, and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market, we like to align them with the industry's direction. We will study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may go through some of the recent trade ideas shared on our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil futures using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on template. Together we call this at a glance template because this helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. One week ago, oil futures tried to go below the memory support level in the weekly chart but reversed. At that time, there was a memory support in the daily chart also. Price tried to go below that memory support level and reversed. Looking at that, at that time, I had mentioned in the social network pages that this may be the point from where oil starts to bounce. That came true this week as oil went up from the memory support line and closed higher. In the daily chart, the traffic light candle color has turned bullish for last three days and it went up with high activity. There is a memory resistance line nearby. Therefore, if you didn't already take the long position at the memory support in the weekly, you may wait for price to break out of the memory resistance, make a recent low and go up again giving a trend following Q go with flow long trade setup. Alternatively, you could see if oil comes down a little bit from the current price level, makes a higher low and goes up from there. If it does that, you may try to catch the stock just at the point it is starting to go up again. Gold ETF GLD using Q at a glance template. In the weekly chart, we have a bullish color, cyan color backdrop candle. However, the candle shape is mixed. It has an upper tail that is bearish. However, the body is hollow that is bullish. So the weekly candle shape is giving us a mixed signal. In the daily chart, price is going up. It is in an uptrend. Price closed above the upper boundary level. That is too overextended to take any long trade. 
and it is going in an uptrend therefore there is no short trade setup either from commodities analysis we move on to market breadth analysis we are studying market breadth using nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index both using weekly charts as this analysis is using broad indices and weekly interval it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading along with the broad indices we are looking at three pairs of internals new high low advanced decline and up down volume both nasdaq and nyse went up for two successive weeks nyse went up from the memory support levels over longer period they both continue to be in a downtrend there is some distance from the current price to the next memory resistance level also the weekly candles of both nyse and nasdaq ended with a bullish shape candle looking at that price pattern and the distance from the memory resistance lines it seems that price can continue to go up at least some more from this point the internals are also bullish all the six internals went up four of them closed above zero only new high low closed below zero however they recovered significantly from the recent trough made two weeks ago the other four internals advanced decline and up down volume are significantly bullish looking at the entire picture we conclude that both nasdaq and nyse are in longer term downtrend however it is likely that they will recover at least a bit more from the current price level let us see what conclusion we arrive at from the market etfs analysis s&p 500 etf spy the weekly candle shape is bullish the color is neutral yellow from the daily chart we see that for the first four days of the week tuesday was a public holiday price in fact came down and on friday it reversed sharply all the gain of the week came from friday's price move the daily candle color is cyan it is likely that price will go up at least somewhat more from this point nasdaq etf qqq similar picture the weekly candle shape is bullish color is neutral in the daily chart the candle color is bullish it broke out of the memory resistance with high activity on friday there is some distance between current price level and the next memory resistance dow jones industrial average etf dia again same picture weekly candle shape is bullish color is neutral daily candle color is now bullish cyan much of this week's price move came from friday's move Russell 2000 ETF IWM earlier it was the weakest of the four ETFs you can see that from the relative performance line tilting down for the past two weeks IWM is the strongest we can see that from the relative performance line sharply going up the daily candle color traffic light color is cyan that is bullish this is the only etf that didn't change color to magenta throughout this week if we combine the result of the market breadth analysis with the outcome of the market etf analysis 
we come to the same conclusion that overall the market is in a downtrend however it is going up for past two weeks and it seems that it may go up at least a bit more till the next resistance level therefore if you had taken any long position in past two weeks probably using one of the Q reversal trade setups then you may book partial profit and hold on to partial position trying to let profit run no need to be in a hurry to exit those positions you may use Q protection signal to apply stop loss to protect profit in remaining position that is the conclusion from the market level when you drill down to the sector industry level and then further into the fundamentals and technicals you can always find trading opportunities aligning the forces from the sector industry fundamental and technical levels four week sector performance we are studying the 11 sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of last five days green bar performance of five days prior to the red bar and the blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bar together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week all the sectors went up showing a bullish picture at the sector level financials accelerated two weeks ago i had mentioned it in the market roundup at that time you could see the acceleration taking place in real time using QH sector heat map and scorecard last week it was the best performing sector and this week it continues to go up this is the only sector that has gone up for two past weeks energy is the best performer not so long ago it was the worst performer and when it was turning from the worst performer to the best performer you could get early signal of that from two different Q analysis one was that as I shared earlier oil futures came to the weekly memory support level and reversed from there you could also see the turnaround happening in real time using the Q sector scorecard and heat map this is Q edge sector scorecard and heat map we are looking at the 11 sectors and analyzing them over 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 days 5 days etc cyan represents strength and magenta represents weakness from the heat map you can instantly see that energy and communication services are the best performing sectors of the week shown by cyan color under five days column and real estate and utilities are the worst performing sectors in the last market roundup that i titled as role reversal of the sectors i highlighted that real estate and utilities that were stronger earlier were starting to weaken we could see that happening from the color transition from cyan to magenta they continued to remain weak ended up being two of the worst performers of this week looking at the weakening looking at the heat map you could protect profit in any long position that you might have and look for low risk shorting opportunities you could do the opposite in energy and communication services you could protect profit in any short position you might have and look for buying opportunities however the sector level is quite broad to make more accurate trading decisions you may drill down into the industry level 
and decide which industry to look for buying opportunities and which industry to look for shorting opportunities. Best performing industries, we are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days course. Because these are the best performing industries, you are not going to look for shorting opportunities here. You may look for buying opportunities instead. Energy is the best performing sector and two of the best performing industries are in this sector, both going up by more than 10% in a single week. These are oil and gas drilling and oil and gas equipment and services. Therefore, you would look for buying opportunities here. In oil and gas equipment and services, you can find this stock PUMP. It has optimal valuation and robust recent quarterly earnings growth and a short squeeze potential as well. PUMP went by 10.5% this week after displaying the unique Q bullish headwind reversal signal at the very bottom in the daily chart. As the industry is strong, the stock is fundamentally strong and technically it is going up, you may look for a low risk buying opportunity here in coming days. Industry scorecard and heat map using QH. It calculates the industry rotation in real time. The same analysis that QH does for the 11 sectors, it does it for hundreds of industries. The best performing industries of the week are shown with cyan color under 5 days column. Oil and gas drilling and oil and gas equipment and services are two of the best performing industries of the week. They were very weak earlier. You can see that from the magenta color in all the prior review periods. We can drill down into the oil and gas equipment and services stocks. Instantly you can find PUMP from the cyan color under valuation column you know that it is optimally valued and the three recent quarterly growth percentage shows that it is having significant earnings growth in last three quarters. Therefore, you have found an industry that is turning around, going up from the very bottom, a stock that is optimally valued and is having earnings growth. Therefore, you would use Q technical analysis to look for buying opportunities. This is PUMP using Q at a glance template. The stock dropped sharply when the industry was also weak. For last two weeks, it is starting to go up. The weekly candle color is neutral, but the shape is bullish. In the daily chart, it displayed the unique Q bullish headwind signal right at the very bottom and from there price is going up. On Friday you had a gap up open day and the day ended with a bullish shape candle, a candle with long lower tail and also bullish color candle. You can look for a long opportunity in two different ways. One is to see if price goes down little bit from here and tilts up again. If it does that, you may try to catch it just at the point it is starting to go up again. Alternatively, because it had a gap up open day on Friday, you may try to buy the stock if it goes up above the high of Friday's candle putting stop using Q protection signal just below Friday's candle. The first setup would probably end up being a go with flow trend following long trade setup and the second setup would be a breakout trade setup. In this example, you could identify a potential trend using the industry strength 
using the fundamental strength and technical strength of the stock. Worst performing industries, generally you will look for shorting opportunities here. However, when you drill down into the stocks and look at their fundamentals, look at their technicals, you may not find any shorting opportunities. Instead, you might see that they are getting ready for a reversal. If so, you may wait for the actual trade setup to come up and take a long position instead. That is what I observed in some of the worst performing industries this week. I mentioned about sector role reversal in the previous market roundup. Real estate and utilities were weak at that time and they continued their weakness in this week as well. Residential rates is one of the worst performers. It has seven overvalued stocks. You can find them easily by drilling down from the industry into the stocks using QH. Generally, you would look for shorting opportunities here. However, when you look at their technical charts, you see that six of these seven overvalued stocks have displayed bullish headwind, the unique possible reversal signal that we have in Q charts. Several of these are also at or near memory trend line support in daily and or weekly. These are enough signals to avoid shorting these stocks. Instead, you may keep an eye on these stocks for buying opportunities if the industry residential rates starts to move up next week. Among these stocks that have displayed bullish headwind signal, AIV may be of higher interest as it has a medium valuation, high recent quarterly earnings growth and it is near weekly as well as a daily memory support line. You may look for similar buying opportunities in industrial rates as well provided the industry starts to go up next week. I will analyze a stock in this industry that may be a buying opportunity next week. I will do that in the Monday morning meet. The worst performing industries of the week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column in QH. Residential rates was much stronger earlier shown by cyan color in earlier review periods. Now it weakened significantly and suddenly the second worst performer of the week. If we drill down into the stocks, we find AIV that is one of only two stocks that have medium valuation. Medium valuation is shown by yellow color under valuation column and AIV also has very high recent quarter earnings growth shown by bright green color under EPS current quarter column. In the weekly chart, AIV tried to go below the weekly memory support line for two successive weeks but failed and went up from there. This week's candle shape is mixed because the body is solid, however it has a long lower tail. So the shape is mixed, the color is still bearish, magenta. In the daily chart, we have a memory support line. Price tried to go below that two times and fail. It also displayed the Q headwind possible reversal signal at the very bottom. Friday's candle shape and color are both indecisive. Shape is indecisive, color is neutral yellow. There is not enough signal to buy the stock right now, neither at the industry level nor at the stock level. However, if the industry strengthens next week and the stock starts to go up, you may look for a buying opportunity because at that time the industry will be strong. Fundamentally, the stock is one of the strongest in its industry and technically it will have enough power to let us take a buy position at that time. 
other than the paste and wash performing industries where we look for buying and shorting opportunities respectively we also study the accelerating and decelerating industries accelerating industries are those that may not be at the forefront but gaining momentum fast and you start to look for buying opportunities here by identifying buying opportunities in these industries you are able to be well ahead of others in catching a stock in its early move tobacco is an industry that is not yet strong you can see that instantly using qa industry scorecard and heat map however qa also shows the acceleration and it is showing that tobacco industry is accelerating fast therefore you would start to look for buying opportunities this industry has two well known stocks pm and mo if you were to buy one of them which one would you buy using q fundamental and peer analysis and then q technical analysis you can make a data driven decision about which one of these is a better buying candidate q edge the accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under page 5 dash column tobacco is an industry that was weak earlier with magenta color this week also the color is not entirely cyan however the acceleration column base column is showing that it is starting to gain momentum we have two stocks very well known mo and pm which one of them are stronger fundamentally in terms of valuation you can see that mo has yellow color therefore it is medium in terms of valuation pm is overvalued shown by magenta color therefore in terms of valuation mo is a better candidate what about earnings growth if we look at the last three quarterly earnings growth mo has better growth percentage than pm therefore in terms of quarterly earnings growth mo is stronger again what about last three yearly earnings growth again mo is a better candidate in terms of dividend they are almost equal therefore when you combine the score of valuation and earnings growth and dividend you conclude that fundamentally mo is a better choice if you are looking for a buying opportunity what about technical analysis you can decide which one of these are technically stronger easily using q technical charts here are pm and mo both using weekly backdrop template both the stocks dropped heavily when the industry was weak and they are starting to go up for two weeks this week's candle shape is bullish for both of them however pm still has a bearish backdrop candle color in the weekly chart that is magenta and mo the candle color is now yellow in the weekly chart that is neutral therefore in terms of technical analysis on weekly charts mo is stronger what about daily chart we can decide that using q hop on daily chart template pm and mo again this time using q daily hop on template both the stocks are starting to go up pm has bullish candle shape as well as bullish candle color the color is green mo also has bullish candle color and shape however here the color is cyan not only green but cyan that means it is giving a possible trend following long trade setup in the daily chart in the daily chart also mo looks stronger using the q flow candle color therefore looking at the fundamentals as well as the weekly and daily charts using q templates 
you can easily conclude that MO is a stronger stock than PM and the industry is starting to accelerate therefore if you had to buy only one stock in this industry you would look for that buying opportunity in MO. From accelerating industries we move on to the decelerating industries these are starting to lose momentum and you may look for shorting opportunities here. Apparel retail is one such industry. It is decelerating. You can see that the score has dropped sharply between 10 day score and 5 day score. In this industry, GCO has medium valuation and negative yearly as well as recent quarter earnings growth. It is technically overbought as seen from the Q stretch signal. That shows whether a stock is overbought or oversold. GCO is overbought and it is near memory resistance in both weekly and daily charts. If the industry weakens next week, it is already decelerating. If it weakens further, then GCO may also reverse from the memory resistance levels and may give low risk shorting opportunities. You could take them using daily chart, hop on template or you could use the Q fine tune intraday chart to make more precise short entry. QH shows the decelerating industries of this week using magenta color under base 5 days column. Apparel retail is one of the decelerating industries. Its current 5 day score is not magenta yet, but the weakness is showing up as magenta under base column. If you drill down into the stocks, you find GCO, which is medium valued. It has yellow color under valuation column, and the earnings growth is negative. For the last three yearly periods, it has negative earnings growth. And in the most recent quarterly period also, it has negative earnings growth. So in terms of valuation, it is in the middle. In terms of growth, it is pretty weak. The industry is decelerating. Therefore, you would avoid taking any long trade in this stock and look for shorting opportunities. This is GCO using at a glance template. Backdrop weekly chart and hop on daily chart. There is no short signal yet. The stock is going up in the weekly as well as in the daily chart. However, the weekly has a memory resistance at the current price point and the daily also has a memory resistance. The stock is overbought shown by these green dots coming on top of the recent candles. These are the stretch dots showing that the stock is overbought. Overbought stock, weak fundamentals, decelerating industry. If the stock starts to reverse from the current price point, you may look for shorting opportunity. If it tries to go above the memory resistance and reverses from there, you may use the Q fine tune intraday chart to make a very precise short entry right at the point price reverses back into the memory resistance line. Alternatively, you could use the daily chart to see if price reverses and goes below the watermark resistance level, thereby creating a false upside breakout. You can see that earlier when price came to this level with very high activity, it reversed from there sharply. If it creates a false upside breakout at the right edge, then you may use that signal to take a reversal box trade setup. Those were the regular weekly market roundup topics. I will analyze more live stocks in the Monday morning meeting just before USA market open. You may register for that webinar. It is open to the public from the education live class page. 
before we end let me summarize the market internals are bullish the broad indices are showing that for two weeks price is going up and there is still some distance from the current price point to the next memory resistance level we get the same picture from studying all the market ETFs they are starting to go up the daily candle color for all the four market ETFs has turned cyan and the next resistance level is some distance away therefore even though over longer period the market is in downtrend it is possible that market will recover a bit more at least from here if you already took long trades in last two weeks probably using q reversal trade setups that helps you identify buying opportunities at the very bottom then you may book partial profit when the initial profit target is reached however there is no need to be in a hurry to exit full position you may use q protection signal to apply protective stop and try to let profit run also using the sector industry rotation their strength weakness fundamental strength weakness and technical strength weakness when you combine all these forces you are always able to look for buying and shorting opportunities sometimes the opportunities are present immediately and at other times you can start anticipating a move and get ready for that we saw several examples of that in today's market roundup as well that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in the next weekly market roundup and also in the monday morning meetup have a great weekend and trade profitably